Hello guys. In this lesson, we are creating a example related to the analog modeling techniques, especially in the mass spring damper structure of these things. Okay, and so we can create a free body diagram in here with uh, some spring factor and the damping ratio of these things and related M should be added in here. Okay. And so this is standard modeling or free body diagram of the mass spring and damper or damping system. And so in order to create a change in this system, we should add X variable with the direction of the F. Okay. <coughs> and so in order to write the equation of the motion of this system, we should write as the F is equal to the total input of this system. Okay? And so the force is applied on this mass and this mass is moving with the relation of the M times X dot dot. Plus, we have the spring factor in here and so K times X which is the Hooke's formula and so we have additional add damping ratio factor C times X dot okay this is our the general equation of motion but in system analogy modeling how can we how can we create an analog in electricity or how can we draw this system like in the electrical circuit because the every model in the universe or in the mathematics in system dynamics we can convert these models into the electrical one <coughs> and so in order to use the analogy models and then we should create a part or we should implement the analogy changing and so if we have the force parameter with the relation of k times x and so from the analogy table and then we can write it as the parameter of the electricity so the force is analog with the voltage value must be equal to what k we don't know now but the x is directly related to q value or charge okay this comes from the x to q f to volt coming from the analogy table okay in the first place we should describe the whole the things in here okay and so <coughs> this formula is imitating by the one divided by c because the charge is equal to voltage times c or capacitance value okay and so we can easily set that k is analog with the electrical capacitance of these things okay but in the reverse order <coughs> and so we can write also a f must be another equal to c times x dot okay and so f is again the voltage value in electrical circuit and so the c we don't know yet but the x dot is directly equal to the current from the analogy table and so this is the famous formula related to resistance value and so the c is directly analog with the resistance value in electricity okay and so in the third place f is equal to m times x dot dot and what the f is analog with the voltage value and so x dot dot is equal to what the x dot is i and so x dot dot d i divided by dt or the current taking derivative based on the time and so 
what is this equation? This equation is another famous formula with the inductance factor. <coughs> okay? And so, the mass is analog with the inductance factor in the electricity. And so, we can write it down as the total input value comes from the force. And so, we can add the voltage value in here with a ground parameter. Okay? And so, we should add the resistance value in here. Like this one. R. Okay? R electricity. L electricity. C electricity. And so, <coughs> we can add the another factor, inductance value in here. And so, L E is added in here. And so, what? The last term is the spin coefficient can be modeled by the capacitance value of these things. Okay? And so, this is the CE value. And so, this force parameter or the mass spin damp system can be in inverted or the can be translated into the, this electrical circuit. And so, the final equation can be written by the Voltage is equal to Re times I plus Di dt times Le plus 1 divided by Ce times Q is the analog of this mass spring damper equation. Okay? And so, if you solve this equation with the basis of the time or if you obtain the time response of this equation and then also you have also obtained the mass spring damper system time response which is defined by the term of the analogy modeling okay and so we don't need to use the mass spring factor in here and so the everything can be written in the electrical format because the time results is the same with the, this equation of motion in mechanical one. Okay? This is the main advantage of the usage of the analogy modeling. And so we can create a common form for the every dynamics, such as the electrical one or the mechanical one or the fluid one or the heat one and so we can create it, it and we can solve it based on the time parameter derivation which means that it is called as the dynamics and so if we are involving in the system approach and so we can call it as the system dynamic approach okay in the next lesson, uh, we will use this phenomena, and so uh, we can create uh, modeling techniques in here, and so we can combine the whole the things into a one form in order to obtain the easily solved equation of motion. Okay.